The format token governs how the number gets represented in the result tree. The, there are many attributes that influence the format token. The token itself, the default is a 1. Uh, you can change it to be something other than 1. When you specify a value, you can use an attribute value template, as you can with other attributes down here. If you want to do zero fill, you can precede the number with zero digits. And notice I've got a single zero fill, and it counts one, two with zero fill up to ten. It fills out the, it, uh, it now occupies the zero fill. It goes up to 99. When it gets to 100, that overflows, and you will see the 100. You will see the one. This is just a zero fill up until the limit when the numbers overflow. If my numbers are very long, I can indicate a character as a separator. You probably, uh, in uh, North America, you would want to use a comma as the grouping separator. In Europe, you would probably use a space as the thousand separator. And you would indicate that there are three characters in each group. So for North America, a comma three as a separator in size would give me formatting that I see here of a million with commas at every three counting from the right. If I use alpha, I can use lowercase or uppercase and the processor counts up the alphabetic letters. If I point to a, a character in another language, it will begin, say, the Japanese. Say I want to do Japanese katakana letters. I could point to the first of the katakana letters and it will count up with those katakana letters. If I point to lowercase or uppercase i, I get Roman numerals in lowercase or uppercase. Uh, oh, here's what I said before about pointing to a specific Unicode character and having it count from there. So you're actually specifying the character where, things, where the counting belongs. It can be, since format is an AVT, you can use an AVT to specify that one character. Well, it turns out, notice that in our Western European system, uh, counting from numbers is very easily distinguished from counting in letters. Counting in numbers and counting in letters is easily distinguished because they both start at different characters. That's not true in all languages. And learning from my students, I've learned that Hebrew is an example of a language that has a a uh, traditional counting system that begins at the letter Aleph at the same time that the alphabet begins at the letter Aleph. So if you said format equals Aleph, that's ambiguous. The processor doesn't know if what you want to do is an alphabetic indication, so mimicking what's happening here with an alphabet from the letter Aleph, or are you treating Aleph as a number and you're doing traditional counting? That's the purpose of the letter value attribute in the instruction. If you, you use either the value alphabetic or you use the value traditional, those words. And either of those words will tell the processor what to do when you have an ambiguous character indicating the start of either an alphabetic sequence or a number sequence. Now that's all available in version 1. Version 2 adds a couple of more attributes. We have the format attribute. Lowercase w converts the numbers into words. All lowercase. An uppercase w token uses the uppercase letters for the representation of those words. And an uppercase, lowercase w will use mixed case for those words. Also added is the ordinal. 
and it's just the value yes or no. And when you say ordinal equals yes, it then looks at the format token. And if you are using numbers, it will say first with numbers, second with numbers, etc. Just using a suffix to indicate that it is an ordinal instead of it being a number. Using a lowercase w will spell out the words first, second, third, fourth, etc. Using uppercase is all upper. And using upper lower gives you uppercase f and lowercase first. So instead of one, two, three, you get first, second, third. So that's when you say ordin equals yes. And finally, you can have lang equals. And with lang, you can uh, specify the language to use for either the characters in the format token here or the language to use in the spelling out of the numbers as numbers or as ordinals. Now, it's up to your processor to support these languages. It's uh, the, only, I, the only language that is required to be supported is English. That's going to be found in all processors, but language equals, uh, if you specify a language here, the processor may choose to support it or may choose to ignore you.